It's Kickstarter Success Weekly. I'm Lee Schneider, founder of Digital Fundraising School. Each week I take a look at trending crowdfunding campaigns, pass that info along to you so you can use it in your own successful crowdfunding effort. Okay, let's go. First up, Tiny Epic Kingdoms, a game by Gameland Games that is well past 6,000 backers, that has raised more than $196,000 out of a $15,000 goal. Okay, something is really going well here. Let's drill down a little bit and find out what it is. When you scan down their page, they've done everything right. So there's no surprises here. They have a lot of detail about what this is, uh, what's gonna be in the box, what you're gonna get, a really, really clear breakout of the game contents, an overview of the game, very graphically clean. So what's not to like? You know, it works perfectly. But I'll tell you one thing that I really like about this, and this is my lesson learned. Take a look at this. Click to visit the Kickstarter. So many of us forget to do this. Here you go to their homepage. They've already got traffic there anyway, and they have this nice invite to get you back to the Kickstarter. It's a wonderful idea. The lesson learned here, connect everything. Be sure that your social media, your home page, your email list, everything points to the Kickstarter page. Next up, Plumen 002 Designer Low Energy Light Bulb. More than 500 backers, 50,000 bucks as of this recording of a $20,000 goal, doing very well with five days to go. So, why did this one cut through? For a clue, let's look at the video. Don't you think it's strange that the light bulb, an object so synonymous with ideas, is almost entirely absent of imagination? At Plumen, we believe that the best way to switch the world on to energy efficient lighting is simply to create a beautiful bulb. Just like Tesla sexed up the electric car, we wanted to bring a little magic back to the humble light bulb. So in 2010, we created the Plumen 001, what we call the world's first designer low energy light bulb. This vision really struck a chord. Our first design received global media attention and picked up some of the world's most coveted design awards, not to mention being added to the permanent collections at the MoMA, v &A, and Cooper Hewitt. It now sells in 47 countries and changes people's attitudes towards low energy light bulbs every single day. Okay, I bet you know what I'm going to say. Inspire people. What this does by aligning themselves with Tesla, bringing up their awards that they've won, What's clear about this is you're going to get inspired about a light bulb, the very symbol of what most people will think of when they think of inspiration. So the lesson learned here, inspire people. Here is a simple light bulb. It looks really cool, but they've aligned themselves with Tesla and other cool factor things, and they've managed to inspire people with a campaign that's very successful. I think that's why it cut through. Now let's look at Hello Ruby, a children's book teaching programming fundamentals. 6,000 backers plus, more than $200,000 pledged of a $10,000 goal. Doing quite well. Well, this one, it basically gets all the fundamentals right. If you scroll down the page, you'll see beautiful detail in who they've been covered by, The Guardian and Fast Company. You see these wonderful drawings that explain very, very specifically what this looks like and what it looks like inside. You see a connection with a movement, something that I've spoken often about, why this matters. Code is the 21st century literacy. I couldn't agree more. And she gets super specific. Here's what I want to do. She gives you the outline of everything in a storybook, actually kind of a storyboard form. The lesson learned here, Show off the details. What this campaign does so well is it really digs into everything you might need to know. Why do this? Who's behind it? What's in it? What's the budget? Show off the details. It will really make a difference to get people behind your project. Okay, let's look at the lessons learned from all three of these projects so you can put this intel to work right away in your campaign. First, connect everything. This is what the Gamely Game people did so well. You really want your homepage to show that you're doing a Kickstarter, so when people go there, they go to the Kickstarter. Same with your email list and your Facebook and Twitter, everything else that you use online, you need to let people know that you're doing a Kickstarter campaign or a crowdfunding campaign. 
Lesson learned, inspire your contributors. This is so important. People need to be inspired to connect with your campaign. And this is what the light bulb people did so well. They connected the light bulb known as a symbol, the very symbol of inspiration with, guess what? Inspiration, very smart. Aligning themselves with the Tesla electric car. I like that a lot. And also letting people know that they're in the Museum of Modern Art collection and that you're really joining a movement. Also very important, you're joining a movement. But the, the main thing here, inspiring people. Finally, show off the details. Really drill down into what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, how much it's going to cost, and who you are. Don't be shy about getting deeply into the details. Thanks so much for joining me today on Kickstarter Success Weekly. Be sure to visit us over at digitalfundraisingschool.com. Do you want a beginner's guide to crowdfunding? I've got just the thing, a free class online. You can attend from anywhere. Just look for the free class link at digitalfundraisingschool.com or check out the links right below this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.